How fast can humans travel? This is one pertinent question that will never go away. In all our years of practicing science, engineers have tried to invent fast technologies. However, none has been able to exceed the cosmic speed limit, which is otherwise known as the speed of light. But there is a growing belief that this might be about to change because scientists have recently found a new way to travel faster than light. What is this new technology called and how does it work? Let's find out. Whether on land or on sea or even in the air, no human or human invented device has ever breached the cosmic speed limit and you can understand why. Light, as you know, travels at an incredible speed of 186,280 miles per second, which is quite a lot regardless of the scale you measure with. For quite some time, we didn't have any reason to complain, especially with our movements within Earth. I mean, within our world, we've got fast-flying jets that ferry passengers and freight across countries and continents in a fairly decent time. But things become very different once you cross the Kármán line in the world beyond. Space is so vast that the distance between celestial objects and any two points at all is usually enormous, and many times more than the average distance between any two points on Earth. For perspective, Proxima Centauri, which is the closest star to our planet, is located around 5.25 light years away, or 40 trillion kilometers away from us. Even if you attempted to make this journey with the world's fastest spacecraft, the Parker Solar Probe, it would take you over 6,600 years to land on the star. Mind you, this spacecraft travels at a fascinating 724,000 kilometers per hour. At that speed, you could literally jump from Los Angeles to New York City in 20 seconds. And that's where the speed of light comes in. Scientists admit that this odd travelling time between Earth and other strategic locations in space is not feasible. As a matter of fact, travelling at hundreds or thousands of years across space is downright impossible. Hence, we must invent new technologies for travelling. Technologies that will drift through the emptiness of space with radical velocity and maybe, just maybe, exceed the speed of light. Light in itself is a fascinating element, one that controls and affects many aspects of science. Without it, you'd probably not be able to watch this video. And thanks to the gift of light, we are able to perform countless scientific experiments that are useful to mankind. More importantly, light has several real-life use cases. For instance, light is used to calculate the distance between any two points in space. It is also used to measure the distance between Earth and celestial objects or elements. For illustration, the light produced on the Moon takes about one second to reach Earth. Meanwhile, sunlight needs around eight minutes to reach our planet. This means the Moon is about one light second away from us, while the Sun is eight light minutes away. These distances are measured in light years because their value in metres and kilometres are outrageous. For comparison, one light year is equivalent to 9.46 trillion kilometres. And as mentioned earlier, our current technologies are insufficient to facilitate trips between such incredible distances. Hence, scientists and astronomers have come to the realisation that increasing our travelling speed across these distances is key to our ambition of exploring the far corners of space and hopefully becoming a multi-planetary species. For example, a typical trip from Earth to Mars using any of the existing spacecraft will last anywhere between 5 to 12 months. But if somehow we are able to travel at the speed of light, or maybe even faster, astronauts could take off from Earth and land on the Martian planet within 4 minutes. Meaning, Elon Musk and his crazy team of innovators can finally build a human civilization on Mars as they've always wanted to do. This would be truly remarkable, considering where we are at the moment. In fact, achieving 1% of the speed of light would mean that we could travel between Los Angeles and New York City in just over one second. So, attaining or exceeding the speed of light would be a big jump. Of course, there would be problems and challenges, but as always, science aims to provide innovative ways of solving and tackling these challenges. 
As we've come to realize over the years, the single biggest problem to achieving this goal is energy. At the moment, we simply don't produce enough kinetic energy to power our spacecraft to the speed we require for interplanetary missions. To increase speed, we need to generate a lot of kinetic energy. For reference, to make a spacecraft or any object at all go twice as fast, we need to generate four times the energy. To triple the speed, we need nine times the energy. In the same way to power an object that weighs 110 pounds to 1% of the speed of light, we'll need around 200 trillion joules. This is an extravagant amount of energy. In fact, it is roughly the same amount of energy that is consumed daily in the United States. Obviously, generating this amount of energy to power a single object across space is not feasible, at least at this moment in time. But scientists have come up with an amazing space-travelling medium known as the EM drive, or the warp drive. If successful, this intuitive technology is expected to ferry humans to all areas across space in record time. The EM drive is designed to fly by enclosing microwaves in a shaped chamber. Remarkably, scientists have built this system in such a way that the violent movements of the microwave particles is what creates the thrust that powers the EM drive through the emptiness of space. Since the chamber is enclosed, the EM drive itself will appear to move without any energy input or thrust output, at least from the outside. It's a new technology, no doubt, However, the entire system relies on Newton's second law, which was first put forward by the science genius many years ago. Under this theory, force is directly proportional to the change of momentum. Consequently, an electromagnetic wave, or EM, travelling at the speed of light would have a specific momentum that will transfer to a reflector, which should produce the needed force to power the EM drive. On paper, this sounds like a straightforward process, but it's a skewed process that complicates our fundamental understanding of physics. For instance, if energy isn't going in and out of the system, how then are the waves initialized? How is the momentum generated? We know quite well that momentum cannot be generated without an accomplishable push. Based on these complexities, some have questioned the validity of the system. As a matter of fact, many have posited that the idea behind the EM drive contradicts our concept of the universe. However, the device has been tested so many times that it is difficult to completely rule it out as a hoax. One of such experiments was conducted at the Dresden University of Technology. Prominent physicists with more than a decade of research expressed optimism about the system. But the full credit for the development of this intriguing system must go to Miguel Alcuberi. The Mexican mathematician was the first to propose the possibility of a space transitional system that could break the cosmic speed limit. His version was called the Alcuberi Warp Drive. But over time, new variations of the systems have been created. The most recent version of the Alcuberi Drive was developed in 2020 by Dr. Harold White and his team of researchers. The updated version, posited by the NASA physicist, reduces the amount of energy required to power the drive as it travels through space. In the end, their little experiment created a mini real-life version of the warp drive, which is something that had never been done before. With this template in place, there is much more optimism among scientists and astronomers alike that we will someday travel to the nook and cranny of the universe at exceptional speeds that far exceed the speed of light.